so get ready to go, go, go. Good morning, sweetie. How did you sleep? Good morning, Daddy. I slept great. How about you? Oh, I slept great, too. Thanks for asking. Oh, I see that you're playing with your doctor kit. Just a reminder, Marley, we're going to go see Dr. Smith today for your checkup. Oh, really? Uh, why do we need to go see Dr. Smith? Well, checkups are really important to make sure that you're growing healthy and strong. How will Dr. Smith check all of that? Great question! Why don't we give one of your dolls a checkup so that way you can see how Dr. Smith will give you a checkup. Okay, that sounds fun. Here's my dolly that I was already listening to her heart. That's right, that's called a stethoscope. And the doctor uses that to check the doll's heartbeat, or your heartbeat. That's my favorite. It is fun. Let's use some of your other tools. Okay, I'll go get them. Dolly, Dr. Marley is gonna give you a checkup. Be patient. I'm back. What's this one, Dad? Oh, great. That's to check the eyes. Dolly, Dr. Marley is going to check your eyes by shining a light to make sure that they are healthy and strong. It looks good. Excellent. Now what will you use, Dr. Marley? Now I have this tool. What's this oh, for? Oh, yes. That's an otoscope and that checks the ears. Oh, okay. And okay, okay, Dolly. Dr. Marley is going to use the otoscope to check your ears and make sure everything looks clear. I see a little bit of earwax, but it looks clear. Great. Dolly, you're laying there very still and letting the doctor do all of the work. I found another tool, Dad. Oh, that's a tongue depressor to put down the tongue so you can see the mouth and the throat. Okay, Dolly, Dr. Marley is going to put that in your mouth to hold that silly tongue down to check your mouth and throat. Looks good. Dr. Marley, you've checked the ears, you've checked the eyes, and you've checked the mouth. Yep, they all look healthy. What are we gonna check next? I think it's time to weigh Dolly. Let's use the scale and see how heavy Dolly is. Okay, Dolly, I'm gonna pick you up and put you on the scale. You have to stay very still. That means freeze. Don't move. That's right. Can you see how heavy Dolly is? Yep, 14 pounds. Wow! That means that Dolly must be eating lots of growing food. Okay, and why don't we stand Dolly up and we can see how tall Dolly is growing. We will measure her. Oh, wow, look at that, 12 inches. Dolly's getting so tall. And the last thing to do is a little shot. But Dolly's been very brave this whole time. So tell Dolly that it won't hurt, just a little pinch. Dolly, there's going to be a little pinch, and we're going to count to two, and then your shot is going to be over. Get ready. One, two. Awesome. Oh. Dr. Marley, you did a great job checking up the doll to make sure that the dolly was growing big and strong. Thank you, Dad. Thanks for helping me with the names of the tools and what they do. I think you're ready for your own checkup, and you can bring your doctor kit with you. Dr. Smith will be so impressed. Sounds good. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Britt. 
And I'm Allie. And this is our parent message. Going to the doctor can be a nerve wracking and stressful event for your child. However, most of them do really well if they're adequately prepared beforehand. Children like order and routine and structure. It makes them feel confident being able to predict what's happening next. So if we talk to our children about the doctor before it happens, then they will feel confident in knowing exactly how the doctor will conduct their checkup. A great thing to do is practice a little role play with your child about going to the doctor. Depending on what they remember from prior appointments, even if they've gone to the doctor, they might not really know what the doctor does. So you can help them remember what each tool does and have them act it out on a doll or on a stuffed animal. Giving them the control helps them feel confident going into an unfamiliar situation. And remember to speak positively about going to the doctor because children really feed off of uh, our feelings and emotions. That's right. So remember, um, we post new content every Sunday. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And also, if you're going through a particular phase or stage with your child, we would love to help and make a video with that. Um, so leave us a comment um, below. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.